Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this 48 inch deck and change the blades on this 2020 John Deere S240. So let's get started. All right guys, before we get started here, let's talk about a few of the things and the tools you're gonna want around when doing this deck removal and blade installation. First thing, go ahead and break out that operator manual. Go through those instructions step by step so you have a good idea of what you're getting yourself into. Next, you're gonna want your 15 millimeter wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers, ratchet with 18 millimeter socket, torque wrench with 18 millimeter socket. That way we're making sure to get those blades torqued down to spec. Grab you a piece of wood there as this is going to help to keep those blades from spinning when you're doing that change. Also a pair of gloves is a great idea as you're going to be dealing with blades that may be sharp. So go ahead and get you some gloves out. And of course your new set of blades. Now we are dealing with a 48 inch deck here. So we have three blades that are going to come in that pack. Uh, you can get these at all your local dealerships or I'll put a link in the description below where you can get them from me directly. So from here guys, let's get underneath the tractor and start removing that deck. All right, so first step is going to be getting this belt loose. We are gonna have to get it loose from the uh, electric clutch right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that 15 millimeter wrench, you're gonna place it right on top of this nut. This here is your tension idler. So you're gonna wanna put that on top there and then push forward here on that tension idler to relieve the pressure off the belt. And then you can just simply reach up and relieve that belt from that pulley. Now from there guys, the next step is going to be to release these linkages. Now keep in mind also guys, we do have this deck sitting all the way on the ground here. So actually prior to taking this belt loose, we are gonna wanna set that deck all the way down on the ground. But from here, we have two sets of linkages here that we have to take loose. One is going to be these arms here. So as you see, we have this pin pull it loose and also take our washer off there as you don't want to lose that guy from there that arm will come loose and come down next is going to be removing this pin here pull it up and off and also take that washer loose so we don't lose it now, this arm will just come off here. Rotate it forward, and then go ahead and take it off. Now we'll move around to the other side. All right, once you get to the other side here, it's just gonna be the same procedure. We've got one pin here on this arm. We gotta pull loose. Once again, guys, don't forget to get that washer. You don't want to lose that. You can go ahead and pull this linkage loose and set it down. And then just like on the other side, we've got one more pin right back here. I want to pull that loose. And once again, get your washer. We can take this arm loose here, rotate it, and pull it out. Now notice, guys, that is a certain shape there. So whenever you're going back on with these arms, you're gonna have to line that up to get it in the hole and then you can twist it to go back to hang it back on. So from here guys, let's move to the front of the deck, I'll show you how to take it loose. All right guys, so now that you've got your two back linkages loose, the last step is going to be to release this front linkage here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take those pliers, and go ahead and get this clip here off. Once we get that loose, you've got this pin right here that keeps this locking lever engaged. So you're just gonna take it out and then flip up your locking piece there. And then from there, guys, this front lift linkage you just pull right out. And then from here, you're completely loosened up to where you can pull this deck out from underneath the mower. So once you've got everything loose there, guys, now your next step is just gonna be to pull this mower deck out from underneath. And 
And just like that, guys, now you're ready to change those blades. All right, so when changing the blades, guys, you have that deck off. First thing you're gonna wanna do is find a sturdy area, you know, a place where you're gonna be able to prop this deck up, get it leaned up against something, have the wheels blocked off here as mine are sitting on the mat. That way this deck isn't gonna roll or fall while you're changing these blades. Uh, so, you know, find you a good sturdy area. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take that piece of wood, find the best spot here in the deck that that blade will be pushing on whenever you're removing the bolt here from the blade and then just go ahead and start taking those blades off so you break those loose there and be able to take that bolt out by hand now you're going to want to make sure go ahead and leave that washer there on that bolt that way you make sure to go back on the correct way with that uh, bolt and washer Next thing you're going to do is take your new blade, make sure you're going back on the way you took it off. So you're going to want that concave, that concavity side or that concave side there to go to the bottom or towards the ground there. That way your washer fits in flat. So go ahead and line that back up on the spindle. Go ahead and start your bolt. Now you'll go ahead and get it tight somewhat with your regular ratchet here. Same thing, we're going to want to find that spot there on the deck for our blade to hit. That way we don't have that slippage. Then you'll go ahead, get out that torque wrench. Now, per specs on this deck with these blades, you're going to want to be at 65 foot-pounds. So I have my torque wrench here set at that setting. And then you'll just go ahead and torque these down. Now you'll know you've gotten there when you hear the click it's like I got to go quite a bit further here still haven't heard that click right there and then guys you just repeat that process on down the next three blades All right guys, so from here, now that we've got these blades changed, I'll go ahead and show you how to reinstall the deck. You're just gonna do all the previous uh, operations in reverse order, but we'll go ahead and show you that. Uh, that way you have reference of the full, the full process here. <laughs> Okay, next step is going to be getting our front linkage back in place. Raise it up, get it sitting on top here, and then you can actually just roll the deck forward a little bit there. Go until we can get it to drop down into place here. Sometimes you got to wiggle that back a little bit to get everything to line up. There you go. Now, once we get that in place, they're going to roll that deck back, make it lock into these two to these two grooves here. We're going to reach over, flip over our locking lever. We're going to go back in with that pin that we removed in the beginning. So we get that in, then we'll go back in here with our spring clip. All right, and from there, we can move back here to these back linkages. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and get the deck lined up to where we can match up this first arm here. Get it pushed back on. 
And then before I put the pin in, I'd go ahead and put my rear linkage on. Now remember, these are shaped a certain way here, so you're gonna have to get it turned just right to go back in. And also make sure that your loop portion here is pointing towards the rear of the mower. So line that up there in the hole, rotate that forward, find our hanging pin, which is right there. Now we can go back on with our washers. One there, and our pin. And then we can go back on with our washer and pin here on this front linkage. All right, let's move to the other side. Back on here. And back on with our back link. Our washer there. All right, next step, let's go ahead and put that belt back on. So remember here, guys, this is gonna be the portion where you are gonna need that 15 millimeter wrench. Remember, we're gonna get it here on our tensioner, tensioner idler. You'll go ahead and push that forward to relieve the tension off of that belt. Slide it up and under. Make sure that you've got it on all the way around the back side here. and then let off that tension and everything should be back in the same order that it was. If you're not sure guys, if you're afraid maybe that your you know, belt has gotten out of position here, just go ahead and reference that operator manual, check that out. But as long as you didn't let it come out of your tensioner idler there or any of your other pulleys, you should be good to go. Now, last step guys here, is we're going to want to level our deck before we go to cutting but i'll actually put that in the description below in another video all right guys so that's all there is to it uh right here you've seen the deck removal and blade change on the 2020 john deere s240 um, i hope that you guys saw everything you need to see if you like this video make sure to give it a like give us a subscribe uh, let me know any comments questions below if i left anything out Make sure to let me know as we definitely use that to get better. And guys, don't forget if you happen to need a set of these blades to make sure to check out that link below for west-equip.com parts. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.